Hey, what's going on my Rangers? Welcome to my humble abode. Thank you for joining me. Hope y'all are having a great week so far. Uh, so today I got a nice little unboxing for y'all. Got this big box from uh, Big Bad Toy Store. Um, had a couple items in my pile of loot and then um, I uh, won a couple more figures uh, recently. So I finally shipped it out. Finally got them to ship it out to me and yep, it is here. Let's go ahead and open it. Now, one of these items I actually got on sale uh, during Black Friday, I believe. Give me a sec. It's been a while since I ordered from Big Bad Toy Store. Of course, they always have very nice packaging. Oh, yeah. It's always very really nice. But this, as always, a little bit of advertisement for them. Oh, that Baby Yoda 11-inch plush. I haven't pre-ordered any of those. Eh, I'm just going to wait. You know they're going to be pretty abundant, especially with the, the craze over Baby Yoda. All right, here goes the first item. And let me see if I can get some better lighting. I'll be right back. Uh, you know what? I'll actually briefly show y'all the figures, and then I'll show y'all a better look at the end of the closer to the end of the video. But yep, there's our first two pack here it's from the Doomsday Clock DC Collectibles line for the Watchmen. It's Rorschach and Mime. Very oh man, very stoked about this two pack here, especially because Rorschach. Uh, and then we got some more Watchmen figures here. Oh yes. Some night owl. Uh, I'll open this up later. Yeah, same packaging, different name. It's Ozymandias. And then our last figure. Oh yes, I've been really looking forward to this. Oh yeah, Shredder. This is the quarter scale from NECA. I already have the turtles, so. There's Shredder. Uh, let's let's get a better angle of the camera. Be right back. All right, my dudes, I have a confession. So now this clip, and from now on, it's being recorded like a week after the previous clips. Um, I just wasn't feeling it, man. Just I just wasn't having a good time. You know, I like to record when I'm feeling it. Um, not sure if that's understandable but just went out feeling good basically so hope y'all understand um so i did already take out the figures out of the package and by the way so because this is being recorded again um after a week we have more packages so we have three here so we're going to open those up as well so that's a plus anyway so yeah i already opened up that dc collectible two pack and here's rorschach out of the package looks fantastic i mean look at the paint i like those the sculpting of those wrinkles on the the jacket that's really nice it comes with his grappling gun which is pretty cool and his fedora looks great it's a really nice rorschach figure i set it right here and it does have double jointed Elbows, as you can see, double jointed knees too. So yeah, a lot more articulation than than the DC Direct Watchmen figures. Be this Rorschach, and I am totally forgetting this guy's name, uh, Mime. Let's see. There we go. And Rorschach, he doesn't have the the torso rotation. Or app crunch. This guy has the app crunch. But it's really weird. Like this plastic on these guys, it's like premium quality. It's much better quality than um, Hasbro's, you know, like Marvel Legends and such. And you could feel the heftiness compared to Legends, which is nice. 
But yeah, as, as you can see, really nice painting. Really good paint apps. Nice musculature on this fella. Very nice. Look at the back. That's great. Really nice details. All right, there's that. Now let's get to Shredder. All right. Here he is. And as you can see, it's the fourth scale. And he looks marvelous. Such a good looking shredder. Like if Hot Toys came out with a shredder, I wouldn't even buy it. Because I mean, this looks good enough. <laughs> yeah, I mean, a Hot Toys version would probably have better articulation. But nah, I'm not, I don't need all that. I mean, this looks phenomenal. Comes with this huge cape. Let's actually set the camera here. Actually, I'm not going to be able to do that. This figure's so big. My desk is small. But yeah, look at that cape. Very nice quality. I like that a lot. Look at his helmet. Really nice details. It's got like the weathered effect. That's really cool. Mm, very nice. Let's turn him over. Let's take a look at his face. Look at that. Man, absolutely, absolutely fantastic. And you can actually take off his this part of the mask. Look at those details, man. Swear neck up, man. They they're just killing it all the time with figures. Closer look, look at the scar. That is awesome, man. Look how gruesome that looks, that scar. Looks like it's got blood on it. Very nice, man. And you know what? I'll be right back. I'll actually get a turtle. All right, here is Shredder in between Raphael and my favorite turtle, Leonardo. And they look awesome together. Although, I feel like Shredder should be taller, right? Maybe I'm wrong. I mean, he's not a tall fella in the movie. So maybe this is correct. But nevertheless, they look awesome. Like, man, four scale figures like these? Like, this is... A dream come true, man. To all those who are the 90s Turtles movies fans, y'all know, man, this is just so wonderful, man. Like, gosh, I freaking love it. Oh, it's just... These... You know what? These Turtles are what got me into collecting again in 2000... Um, uh, when I started again as an adult uh, in 2018. So, man, they just look so good. Now I have Shredder. Now we just need what? Casey Jones, April O'Neil, uh, Toka and uh, Razar. Man, can't wait for those. They have to make. They have to make those. A better. And Splinter, of course. And I still need some foot soldiers, so I'm waiting for a good sale. But there's that. Um, all right, let's get to those. All right, so I bought all of these from eBay. And one came from Canada, one came from Georgia, and one came from Australia. The one that came from Australia, Australia, which was, I think this one, it took like over a month, a uh, month and two weeks. <laughs> I'm just glad it, it came in today. So anyways, let's go ahead and open this. Hopefully I can open this quickly. Okay, that's the back of the comic book. Oh, let me actually do that. There goes Hank. And there's the back, as you can see, it's French. And it's not in the best condition. Which I already knew. There it goes. It's a comic book. 
Shang Chi, Master of Kung Fu, Master of Kung Fu, and it's a French version. And I saw this listed on eBay, and I had to get it. It's just that's just really cool, and it's really old. I mean, there's a little small rip right there, but I'm, I'm I really I really like the French language. I actually took French one to three in high school and college. So. Uh, well, part of college. I actually dropped out of college due to certain circumstances. But, yeah, really cool cover, as you can see. Look at that. I don't know who he's facing. Oh, Blackjack. I'm guessing it's Blackjack. There's a little skim through. See how it looks. That is pretty cool. I don't know much about Shang-Chi, so I bought this. Well, I'm not going to be able to read it. I know a little bit of French, but yeah, I'm probably not going to understand most of it. All right, let's get to the next pet coach. Let's see. Yeah. All right, let's check it out. I'm stoked. All right. Oh, what is this? Oh, they added this? Okay. Underdog? Okay, cool, cool. It's always nice to get something extra. And let's see, we have Master of Kung Fu, number 50. And yeah, these are pretty old. I don't even know what year these were made. 1976. Holy cow, I wasn't even born. Let's see what he's saying. Oh, and look, master, a master of kung fu has a gun. Let's see, I wonder who he's about to shoot. I cannot kill my own father, Fu Manchu. Okay, I guess he might be. He's in a predicament of maybe shooting his father. <laughs> Interesting. That's cool. And if you don't, if you guys don't know, the, um, I know some of y'all, most of y'all probably know, but uh, there's gonna be a movie, an MCU movie, of Shang Chi. It's really awesome. I'm looking forward to it. And this was made in 1977. Uh, let's see if we can. If we're familiar with anybody. Oh, it's Honda from Street Fighter. Round one, fight! Um, yeah, I don't know any of these characters. If you know, please comment down below if you like to. Well, that's pretty cool. Definitely looking forward to reading these. I would love to have the whole series. So, And these are not that... I heard um, Shang-Chi comics are not that expensive. So I need to go to a Comic-Con and hopefully find some at like a dollar bin or something like that. That would be wonderful. All right. Last but not least. And... There's no comics in this one. What are you doing, Hank? There you go. All right, so I opened it, and here it is. It is a Watchmen magnet set. And as you see, there's the comedian, and there's Night Owl. And it comes with some pretty cool stuff that's um, that refers to the movie. That's awesome. Um, yeah, if, if you remember from my last unboxing video, um, I bought some stickers, uh, more about magnets as well. Um, so this actually completes the set, the whole set. Um, I didn't show one set of stickers. I mean, I keep saying stickers, magnets. Um, but I'll show y'all how these look on my refrigerator. I've never been so happy to get magnets. <laughs> Love these. These are so awesome. Anyways, um, yeah, I'll, I'll show you how these look on the refrigerator. All right, so I got the complete set all on my refrigerator, and here it is. Oh, baby, yeah. Not sure if you guys, if this looks attractive to y'all, but I absolutely love it. Um... So yeah, I've got the whole Watchmen crew here. And let's see if we can focus, yeah. There's Rorschach. 
Dr. Manhattan, Ozymandias, Ozymandias, Night Owl, the Comedian, and the Sil Silk Spectre. Oh, yes. Focus, please. And yeah, I got a couple other magnets here. Those are from South Africa. And I actually have this Mafex Venom here because he came with the magne magnetic hands and feet. So I thought, yeah, he definitely needs to be on the refrigerator. I actually haven't tried, you know, I don't think the Mafex Spider-Man will be able to cling on to the refrigerator, even though it has mag magnetic hands and feet too. Because it's a lot weaker than the Mafex Venom's magnets for some odd reason. Uh, well, the Mafex Spider-Man came out first, so they, they must have improved on the Mafex Venom. But yeah, there it is. And there's some of the... Um, the Primal Clash figures, I actually put it up there, I had it in a different spot beforehand. And I got Emphis Nest up there as well. Uh, she takes her and her sh um, vehicle just takes way too much space, so that's why I got her in that area. And I actually did change up some other figures around in the kitchen. So there's the Spider Gremlin. There's the some Funko Pops up there. There's Goku. Got Harry Potter. Dementor. One of the dragons from Game of Thrones. Here's all my 10 inch pops. Pennywise, Gladi Gladiator Hulk, and Armor Thanos. And I'm gonna have to fill that area with something else. But there's that, and yeah, I still got my dinosaurs over here. Added the Triceratops. And that's about it. Yeah, I didn't really change anything else. Still got those there. But yep, there it is. Hope y'all enjoyed this video and this oh this unboxing. Uh, let me know what y'all think. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I will catch y'all next time. Alright, Ranger out. Peace. For the times they are a change